Now it's early morning in Bosnia, 20th of August, and uh, we will talk a little bit about uh, drum kit, how we can edit drum kit uh, uh, that is made of samples. Uh, I will, uh, we can do that on two ways. First way, if you go to drum set, and then in drum set, we will choose a drum kit by pressing here, and then here we will go to drum kit, that is sampled from uh, DT, uh, DT, uh, DTX 900, Yamaha DTX 900. Uh, it is electronic drums. Now I have that drum kit here and I can hear, oh, just a moment, I have to go to edit mode. Now when I choose that drum kit, I will go to edit mode and now, let me turn volume a little bit up here on my one of the favorite mixers another one is line six and QSC touch okay now now when we have drum kit uh, now here when we press on key we will get drum element here there is key on which keys are assigned in which group of instruments and name of that instrument but uh, sadly i didn't uh, put name when you do a multi uh, sampling then on each sample it is good idea to put name for that sample for example if it's that snare and if you put name snare it will show here snare but i didn't do that so i didn't put the name so i know it is a d so it is snare now what i can do i can change volume i can change reverb pan course tune fine tune so those things i will change here instead of changing them in sample mode so that is what we can do in editing mode here now we can save it by pressing save and save as or save uh, like existing uh, instrument that we already have inside now let me go back i will go out from here i will press press to menu go out your sample sample edit now I want to edit, continue editing in sample mode of that drum kit. I will press sound bank view, then I will press edit instrument, and then I will choose that kit, drum kit is here, press it here. Now I have to wait. Look at there, you can see number of the samples that are, oh, just a moment, I'll look at now, four, five, six, yeah. It is counting every second sample, showing every second sample. Uh, sometimes it shows every sample, but now it's every, every second is showing right now. Now we can see that we have to wait until everything is done. It is putting all those samples in editing mode, preparing for us to see them and to work with them. So as I told you, uh, in my drum kit presently here, I have 20 elements. It should be 20 samples. 16, 18, 19, 20. So when I press one of those elements, it's showing me where is a sign on C1. That, and, and that is a root key is C1. I didn't touch anything here because I want to do that here in drum set mode. I don't want to do that here. Only what I want, what I can do here is change attack, decay, sustain and release. If I have good sample, if I did it on proper way, it should be okay. I shouldn't do anything here. But if I am not satisfied with sample and if I do some changes or if I want to make something else, something new from that drum kit, maybe two drum kits, then in this case I can do some changes and save as a new instrument. In this case I can do some changes here in Attack, Decay, Sustain and Release. So if I go down, page down, I can see all my samples that I made uh, part of this instrument. When I do everything I will just save it, put it everything in voice drum, assign, place, and I will assign that as drums and then I will say save everything every change that I made here so that is way uh, that is way how we can do editing of the kit sampled kit sampled uh, drum instrument <clears throat> so 
as I told you, we can go to drum set, do some editing, and we can go to uh, sampling editing mode and do some editing. If you have problem and when you load your uh, uh, drum kit elements in your multi sample, and if you can not load more than maybe five elements or six elements or seven, but you need 20 of them like me, that means that you have trouble with memories. That means uh, your memory uh, in sample mode is full and doesn't allow you to load uh, all that uh, needed samples that you need to make that drum kit. So you have to erase something to uh, get more memory to do that. Or it could be problem maybe with your samples. Something is wrong with sample format. Uh, it is possible to load, uh, as I told you, uh, more elements. Uh, if you cannot do that, there is some kind of problem. Memory, format, uh, something is sampled, uh, like maybe it's not 41, uh, uh, 44, uh, 100 kilohertz, or maybe it's not 16 bit. Something you did wrong, that something is stopping you to work properly on this SD90 Catron. But if everything is done, properly, you shouldn't have any kind of problem. There is, an, I, I'm not experiencing any kind of problem uh, in, in doing uh, editing of the drums or drum kit, sample drums, sample drum kit. That was for today. All the best to you, Tihomir.